My name is Carlos Padilla. Uh, my name is Brian Helmley. Um, I'm Oni Ibiuchi. Um, I'm 25 years old. I've been an organizer in the East Side San Jose for about seven to eight years. Okay. Uh, I am an uh, organizer and activist in the San Jose area. Um, I'm originally from uh, Cupertino and uh, basically have been involved in the movement for police accountability. Uh, I think on May 5th, 2006, Six on uh, Story and King, what we had was we had a cultural and political event. Uh, our main objective was to bring out the issues of the anti-immigration uh, bills that were being passed inside the government, um, and bring up uh, um, issues on immigration and, co and cops, police brutality. Now, we were we originally we, were, we our plan was to have an open mic where the community can express their feelings about those two issues about the, the May Cinco de Mayo and its cultural significance and end the event with a citywide cop watch. Um, targeted on Cinco de Mayo because Cinco de Mayo is known to have police brutality every year. Because of my own personal experiences uh, on Cinco de Mayo in 2006 and also recognizing that there's been uh, treatment that I had gotten from police when I was doing, you know, when I was a, a basically getting arrested as part of civil disobedience was so different from how other people who were not white were, you know, getting treated by the police. I was called sir at another event, um, you know, when I was arrested for civil disobedience um, and recognizing then that racial profiling had happened and that brutality had happened to people that were Muslim at this one place over in De Anza, uh, De Anza College uh, when Colin Powell came, I really was very, very furious with the way that the police were doing what they were doing and I felt like that was a strategic place to push uh, because racism in Santa Clara County looks like people getting, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's happening all the time obviously and I don't know exactly how, but one clear thing that I saw was the way that the police treated people differently based on race and that infuriated me. So. What ended up happening was um, we had our event about uh, 8.30. Lieutenant Hahn had a, a group of maybe four police officers in the area. One of the police officers where I stopped him and I um, wanted to speak with him and what they had asked me is if I had a permit. I, asked, I, re I responded to them, I didn't know if I needed a permit considering the fact that I'm not using a power generator, I'm using a car battery to run my system on. Um, his response was to take me to Lieutenant Hahn. When I got to Lieutenant Han, I referred to him that we have the right to assemble. At this point, Lieutenant Han looked to his officers and looked to me and said that it was okay for us to be there. At that point, I notified the, the group that we were okay and that the police had just given us permission to be there on that corner. Now, at 10 o'clock, we had arranged for a cop watch meeting for all of us to basically get our logistics down before we go out into the city. What ended up happening was um, around, um, around 10.30, which is usually the sound one in San Jose. Before 10.30, they had lined up. Mm -hmm. We started tearing down the systems because we the event was over. We did not want to be on that corner. We weren't, a, we weren't trying to stay on that corner at all. I'm from San Jose, but I moved to Sacramento like a year ago or so. Um, that night I was a volunteer for Cop Watch. I intended to do cop watching downtown as well as on the east side of San Jose. I actually arrived around 8.45. I, around, I arrived late because I went to class. And when I got there, I would say that the police were already there. When I arrived, there was eight cars that were already parked by the Starbucks. So as soon as I arrived, I went out and started telling everybody that there's a lot of cops that are gathering. And then I would say that the night proceeded pretty, like, from the moment I got there, the cops were aggressive. From pretty much from 9 o'clock, because I got there at 8.45 by the time I go and just talk to some people. Mm -hmm. From that moment, 9 o'clock, that they were aggressive, their presence was really heavy. And when I got there, I'd say maybe 30 minutes after, that's when the police had literally shut down the intersection and they had a car parked across the street, I guess just doing observation and just reporting to them what was going on. But they had came and shut down the street.